Hi, this is Oliver and welcome to our in-depth tutorial series to Transition Master. This software is for Adobe Premiere, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve and Nuke and you can follow on each of the software this uh, tutorial. Uh, of course, you have to install the Transition Master before. So let's first have a look. Um, we will uh, separate this uh, tutorial series into different uh, sections. I will come later on. So make sure to start with this one here. And first is, after you install Transition Master in DaVinci Resolve, you will find that under OpenFX, Illumi and Transition Master Pro. Or you simply can search here for Transition Master and you will find the Master Pro and the Master version, depending on which software you have installed on your computer. Okay. So in Premiere Pro, you will find that under Effect Settings, you got your video transitions and here you have the Illumi folder and the Transition Master and the Transition Master Pro plugin. And in After Effects, you find the software in your Effects and Presets panel and simply type in Transition and you find the Transition Master or what you can do is go to the Illumi folder and here you have the plugin if you have it installed on your machine. Okay, so let's go back to DaVinci Resolve, but as I said before, you can follow also on Premiere Pro, After Effects or Nuke. All settings will be the same and all the behaviors will be the same in each software. This is also one unique feature, so you can build your transition or manipulate your transitions and save them. For example, if you do so on DaVinci Resolve, you can reuse them also in Premiere Pro, After Effects and Nuke, so everything will stay the same cross-platform wise. So this is one unique feature which is quite handy if you do some uh, things, uh, for example, in post-production in After Effects and your um, normal cutting workflow is in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so this could be very useful to have all transitions cross-platform in any host you like to have and in any host you have installed the Transition Master plugin. Okay, so uh, first to start, you can simply drag the Transition Master plugin to your footage and as you see it behaves like a native transition should be. Uh, you can drag it to a, a position where you like to have the transition and after you dropped it, of course you can change the length of the transition so that it fits to your project and to your cut and to your style. Okay? If you select the transition, you have the OpenFX folder here in DaVinci Resolve to manipulate all of these settings. In Premiere Pro, it's the same thing. You simply drag that to your footage. You will have the transition. The behavior, like scaling, is the same like a native transition. And if you click on that transition, you will have all these settings here to manipulate and to follow us in this tutorial series, okay? In After Effects, it's a little bit different. And I want to explain that to you to get started. In After Effects, again, simply drag that effect to your footage. And one thing is, it automatically creates no transition because the transition is set to 0%. And over time here, you can see what happened. You see that nothing happened. And this is because the source layer is this layer where you applied the effect to. And it has to correspond to the target layer, which is in our case, this uh, video clip here. And if you set that correctly, so the target to the target, and then you play with that, you will see the transition starts over time. You can animate that in After Effects, and so you're free to follow. Here are all the settings, which are the same like in DaVinci Resolve. So up from, from now on here, you can follow uh, in DaVinci Resolve also, like in Premiere Pro or in After Effects or in Nuke. In Nuke, it's the same. Click on the node put your transition and then you have all the settings here. Okay, so back to DaVinci. Uh, this is how the effect panel looks like if you first uh, select your transition. And um, we come from After Effects. In After Effects you keyframe the transition over time and here the transition happen over the length of the transition here. So that means here is the start of the transition, here is the end of the transition, this is the source layer and this is the target layer. Okay just to keep in mind to follow us, okay? So first, let me close all of these uh, tabs here. And first, in each version uh, of the Pro version, on each software side, you have the option to save your presets, to load presets, and you have the presets overview here. Uh, this is 
anything which comes with uh, Transition Master Pro and Transition Master. And of course, you can save your own presets and they will show up here each time you start your software. So there's no need to install each preset each time you do a new project like uh, simul uh, Simulus or, or many of the, the transition presets you find on the internet. So this is a native plugin. Everything stays here in each project. Each time you use it, you have all of your transitions here inside the preset box, okay? So we will um, split this tutorial series to the uh, tabs here. So we start with the transform um, tutorial. After that, we will do the grid uh, tutorial, then the time remap, the post process, the composite, the target, and the easy -E settings. And make sure that you uh, watch them uh, all and that you start with the transform because there are so many settings and so endless possibilities to uh, to do with the transition master that uh, it's useful to go through step by step. Don't get confused and to uh, yeah to let you guys follow us and that you understand what are the settings to achieve your effect, your transition you'd like to create. Okay. Mm -hmm.